Hi everyone! So as you all know, I'm a personal trainer and I've been training myself and my clients for quite a few years now. And being in this field, I've been releasing my own body aches and also helping my clients to release theirs with myofascial release all these years. And one of the common aches that people get, whether you exercise or not, are lower back aches. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to release your own lower back aches with either one of these massage tools. A foam roller, a massage gun, or a lacrosse ball. Before we move on to that, I just want to add on that what I'm sharing are based on my experience. And one of the things that I've noticed is that our lower back aches are usually connected to our lower body muscles. And it can be from your glutes, hips, IT band, hamstring and quads. And usually how I tell are by feeling the tension on the lower spine from L1 to L5. But I will not go in depth onto that because I find that it's something that's very hard to feel on ourselves. So how can you tell which is the area that's causing the tension? One, you can try different lower body stretches and see which are the tight muscles or two, you can try massaging every lower body muscle groups and see where it hurts. I won't be going through stretches because today's video is about self-massage so let's move on to that. Starting from glutes, these are the trigger points to massage. For massage gun, it's pretty easy. Just place the gun on the trigger points as shown in the picture on the right. You can also move it in circular motion as shown in the video here. For lacrosse ball, lie down and place the ball on the trigger point. Keep your knees slightly bent for the leg you are releasing to keep it relaxed. Shift the ball in for inner trigger point and keep your position. For the outer point, same thing, keep the knee bent and tilt your leg sideways to hit it better. For foam roller, you can sit on it, roll back and forth to hit both of the trigger points. For the outer point, you can tilt your body sideways and keep your knees slightly bent for the leg you are releasing to keep it relaxed. Moving on to hips, these are the trigger points to massage. Same thing for massage gun, place the gun on the trigger points as shown in the picture. You can also move it in circular motion. For lacrosse ball, after placing it on this trigger point, you can tilt your body sideways and keep your knees slightly bent for the leg you are releasing. For inner trigger point, Keep body in same position and shift the ball in, then lean back a bit or lie down completely to hit it better. For foam roller, you can position your body sideways like how we do it for the lacrosse ball and lean back a bit for the inner point. Moving on to IT bands, these are the trigger points to massage. Same thing for massage gun, place the gun on the trigger points as shown in the picture. You can also move it in circular motion. For lacrosse ball, you can tilt your body sideways and bend the knee slightly for the leg you are releasing and place the ball on this trigger point. For the mid and lower points, you can shift the other leg forward as shown for more pressure. For foam roller, same as lacrosse ball, tilt your body sideways and bend the knee slightly for the leg you are releasing and place the other leg forward. Do the same thing for the other IT band's trigger points. Moving on to hamstrings, these are the trigger points to massage. Same thing for massage gun, Place the gun on the trigger points as shown in the picture. You can also move it in circular motion. For lacrosse ball, have your body in seated position, place the ball on the trigger point and move the other leg on top of the leg you are releasing for better pressure. And do the same thing for the other hamstring trigger points. For foam roller, same as lacrosse ball, keep your body in seated position and place the other leg on top of the leg you are releasing. For the outer point, you can tilt your leg outwards to hit it better and do the same thing for the lower hamstring trigger point. Last, we have quads. These are the trigger points to massage. Same thing for massage gun. Place the gun on the trigger points as shown in the picture. You can also move it in circular motion. For lacrosse ball, place the ball on this trigger point, tilt your body sideways, keep knee slightly bent for the leg you are releasing and place the other leg on top of it. For this point, you can lie down on your front with your knees slightly bent, place ball on trigger point and keep elbows in 90 degree position for better pressure. For the last two points, lie down sideways with your knees bent together, place the ball on the trigger point. This way, you can hit two points together. For foam roller, you can position your body sideways with the knees slightly bent for the leg you're releasing and place the other leg forward. For this point, same as lacrosse ball, 
Lie down on your front with your knees slightly bent and keep elbows in 90 degree position. For the last two points, I forgot to video a foam roller version but will be same as how we do it with lacrosse ball, just that this time, you can lean your body more forward. Just make sure that at all times, your muscles are in relaxed position, focus breathing in and out, deeply and slowly, like how you are getting a massage outside. We've come to an end of releasing your lower body aches with self-massage. The massage gun that I'm using is from the Hydra Gun, where I've shared the link in the description below. You can get them at $25 off with my code KELLIN. And for the lacrosse ball and foam roller, you can find them at Shopee or Lazada or just Google it up. If you like the outfit that I'm wearing in this video, you can check them out at myprotein.com.sg. The bottom I'm wearing is their Shape Seamless Ultra Cycling Shorts in Orchid Colour. You can also get a 52% off any my protein items with my code KELIN. The discount will be more if there is any ongoing promotion. I hope this video will be a useful one to many of you out there. Don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Goodbye!